Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to uh, today's session after uh, a few uh, weeks of um, postponing, which I don't like to do, but um, I'm trying to uh, make sure that I'm available and that um, I don't cancel. In any case, if this is your first time on WizIQ in a live class, uh, please let me know. My name is Nellie Deutsch, and I've been teaching online since, uh, I guess, the mid-90s, and I've been using WizIQ since 2007. So uh, WizIQ is like home for me. I used to use other live sessions like Illuminate and um, Adobe Connect, but I stuck with WizIQ because I find it very, very compatible to my needs. So feel free to use the chat box as we go. If uh, you have any problems uh, with your audio or anything else, just let me know in the chat box and I'll try to see if I can uh, help out. All right, I've added a link to uh, the PowerPoint presentation since you're not able to click on anything there. So there it is again, in case you missed it. You could add in the chat box um, where you're from and uh, feel free to use it. I use the chat box to uh, think things out. It's a way for me to stay focused so if you feel that way, feel free to write anything, anything that uh, helps you uh, kind of uh, stay engaged. Okay, so I see um, no one that I really know. So just let me know if you can hear. Uh, let me write that down in case you can't. Can you hear me? All right, so if you haven't found the chat box, um, I can't help, but hello, Lopez, and welcome. Okay, great, Diana. Good to see you. Just add in the chat box um, anything, and I'd like to remind you of a book. Uh, it's one of many such books, if you're interested, and uh, this is by Brene Brown, and it's called The Gifts of per Imperfection. In other words, uh, nothing has to be perfect nothing. Um, you should feel comfortable if you can, as much as you can, with uh, imperfections. So whatever you write, it's fine. If you make typos, I make a lot of typos. So feel free. It seems that the more we uh, work online, the more typos we make. And I noticed a lot of my friends that didn't make typos are making them now. So feel free to make mistakes. It doesn't mean anything. It just means that you slipped and you made a typos. So hello, hello from um, Lom in Togo. And hello, Misba. Good to see you. Yes, it's been, well, it's been two weeks, but um, I've been busy with my youngest daughter doing a lot of shopping and uh, driving around. So uh, it's been a lot of fun, but it's great to be back in my room because I stayed with her in her apartment. Oh, is the sound quality poor for you? Um, sorry to hear that. Is it too loud or too low? If the sound is not good, I'll write this down. If the sound is not perfect, and it should be, um, please check your audio and contact me at Nelly Deutsch. You can contact me for any reason. Okay, that's my easy email. Okay, so feel free to contact me for any reason in the classroom or anything else you'd like to ask. All right, so today's session is part of a course called Flipping and or Blending and Flipping Your Class. How many of you belong to the course Flipping, Blending and Flipping Your Class? Okay, if not, I will share the course with you uh, so you can join. 
and uh, the course learn to blend yeah it's called learn to blend and flip with technology okay so here is the link to the course there is the course it's completely free as everything else that I do um, in most cases I do have some paid classes but most of them are completely free all right so this is uh, part of the e-portfolio sessions that we've been having for the past couple of uh, sessions and the topics were collect and reflect on your work share your education and work and today is create dynamic resumes if you're interested in the other sessions you'll be able to find them in the course where which is the content okay it equals content and the live sessions are also there so content and tutorials or live sessions are there okay so live sessions and tutorials which are the PowerPoint presentation and uh, YouTube videos that I usually add all right so are you ready today's session is about dynamic resumes how many of you have written resumes in the past if you could add that in the chat there is a smiley and you can put your thumbs up if you've written resumes I'm not talking about dynamic ones but just resumes okay very good miss but just keep it up if you have any questions feel free to contact me uh, on WizIQ iq or add to hello helena good to see you did a lot i gave you two weeks or maybe more to get a lot of work done so i'm glad you did that is very very inspiring thank you all right great helena i'm so glad all right so resumes how many of you have written a resume once twice three times okay and more okay give me you did Helena excellent anyone else ever write a resume okay we're talking about e-portfolios which include resumes e-portfolios uh, are dynamic in the sense that you can keep adding to them online I have a uh, a resume or I call it a bio on Google Drive and what's nice about it is that I can keep adding to it or taking things off um, which means that I don't have to continuously start all over again or work on a word document but I can go straight into the Google Drive and add things as things happen okay so let me try to get that for you or maybe you can find me before I find myself sometimes the only way and it's a good way if you don't find yourself um, online it means you don't have an online presence and uh, these days it's quite important to uh, be known online since when people find you uh, it's easier for them to learn about you I just got a message from someone there's my Google uh, Google Drive bio or resume it's not really a resume because it's got some things lacking okay excellent you've got yours on WordPress excellent you don't have to use the Mahara you can use blogs wikis Google Drive or Google Sites for your e-portfolio so what is a dynamic resume okay what is it well here's an example I'm going to show you some examples of uh, dynamic resumes you may like them you may not like them but they will probably offer you some ideas on how you'd like yours to be so sometimes seeing an ugly 
dynamic resume is good because it encourages you to do something a little bit different. All right, so what do you think of this one by Michael Anderson? Okay, votes from one to five. What would you give Michael Anderson? And why? Okay. Okay, so Lopez says, um, okay, not used to informatics, which means you don't like it or you feel uncomfortable with it. Um, okay, so from one to five, um, never seen it. Where is Tom? <laughs> well, Tom had a very busy day today with, uh, with the SL MOOC, uh, Second Life MOOC for 2014 you've never seen okay so i don't know if you like this but i like the colors okay that's what i like i don't like the timeline okay this is a timeline okay with um dates dating from 95 to 2008 okay and here you have uh, different things that michael anderson has done Okay, you also like the color. So there's something here that you might want to use. For example, I like this wheel. Okay, I think it's kind of interesting. So maybe there's something here that you could take. I would give this person a one out of five because there's only one aspect that I like about it. Okay, it, and that's some of the colors. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, this is a wheel. Notice this is by Paul Morgan. Uh, what do you think of this one? Okay. Um, any ideas from one to five? What would you give uh, Powell and why? It reminds me of a uh, the old turntable records. So notice again, the colors are not bad. Okay, the colors are not bad. And it's round which has a nice you know it reminds also of a wheel a color wheel it's in spanish okay so not all of these are in english hello andre good to see you all right so and you've got the dates in the center so it's dynamic in the sense that there are colors it's a color wheel uh, and you have the timeline in a circle, okay? So you might like this. You may not like this, okay? From one to five, I would give it a three because I like the, the RAM. What would you give this particular? This is called a dynamic resume. This is what a dynamic resume is about. It doesn't really move. It's not dynamic in the sense that it moves, but you can make a moving uh, resume using Prezi or uh, a PowerPoint presentation and make it move. Uh, you can animate it. Okay, but it's still a three. You know, I would not give it a five. What about the rest of you? Where are you today? <laughs> Feel free to use the chat box. It's uh, 
Okay, how about this too, Miss Ba? All right, Francis Homo. That's、um, this person's name. All right, and notice what Francis did. He turned his own silhouette into a frame for his achievements. Okay, so、uh, from one to five, and why? What do you think about this、um, dynamic? Resume and why? What would you give it? Any thoughts? Well, I can tell you what I would give it. You would give it a three. Okay, why, Ms. Ba? Why a three? What did you find?、Um, Useful in this. Remember, I told you it's a learning experience.、Um, you can learn from good examples, but often we learn more from negative. Okay, negative example things that are not perfect, and that's why I mentioned the book for those of you who may not have seen it, the gifts of imperfection. How imperfect things. Uh, can offer us a lot of gifts, a lot of learning. We can learn from things that are not perfect. It's complex but not appealing. Andre says that it's not appealing. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I totally agree with you. There's a. It's very busy. There's a lot going on on the left and the right, and then you see this huge silhouette in the middle. I would give it a one again. I would give it a one out of five because I find that the silhouette takes a lot. It's it's almost、um, scary. <laughs> it's like a boogeyman. It's kind of scary.、Um, maybe the silhouette could have a different shape, and maybe not as colorful as this one. You don't like it. Too much information. Yes. Okay. Now this is important because it's easy to see it in someone else. We often forget when we do it ourselves. We can't criticize or see flaws in what we do as readily as we can in what somebody else does. So I think you're right. There's a lot of information, but the information is relevant. There are achievements, awards. Honors. This is a problem with doing it on one page. Okay, and you might want to divide your resume into more than one page and not stick everything in、uh, in one. Okay, great. But notice the information here. Francis is an art director, or at least worked as an art director. He was awarded music video awards in two thousand and eight. So this person is very creative and artistic, and yet we don't see this. Okay, so it's important not just what you say, but how you say it. You know, if you've been an art director and you've won prizes for art, we want to see it. We expect to see this, and.、Um, Notice all the awards: Champion of Business Mirror Award, lots of awards. But okay, you want to model what you say about yourself. It's not enough to just say it. Exactly, Lopez. We expect this. Okay, so we're not going to take this seriously unless it looks. All right. What about this one? Voila! What do you think of this one? And again, one to five, and try to see if you can see what would work for you. What? Okay, so one to five again. You like it, all right? And I see a smiley from、uh, Josephina. Notice the words. Do the words go with how it looks? 
highlights. Yes, he has lighted, highlighted. What has he highlighted exactly? What do you see highlighted? What stands out? His name? Notice not all of his name, just the Inden. Not the Bra, but the Inden. His last name stands out very well. It's great, simple, and share, and it shares the vital information. Very good. Yes, and the method is original. Notice he says, notice his hand, you know, his gesture. He has entered, and the smile on his face. Okay, then contact me. Hello, my name is, and I am the best, <laughs> notice underlined, choice for your strategist business development position. Okay, so he's going for a business strategist position. I know you're going to check my Facebook. So let's begin here. Click me. Okay, so um, does it suit the job, which is also important. You're not going to send this to a university, I don't think. You know, if you're looking for an academic position, this might not be suitable, but it might be. But it certainly will uh, get a click, okay, to find out more. So you have to uh, make sure that the job fits the dynamic resume. All right, so one out of five, what would you give uh, Brandon? One Misba. Why? <laughs> All right. Why Misba? Why would you give and Josephina? Why three? Why one? Why? Okay. Why not five? Why not? Well, one, what does one mean? One out of five. What does it mean? Why Lopez? Okay, if you can add a reason, what do you like and what don't you like? So there should be three things that you like and two things that you don't. Misba, one thing that you liked and four that you don't. Not suitable for professional resume, for social contacts. It's interesting. Okay. It is not that complete. Ah, very good point. It's not that complete. But maybe if you click me, you'll get more information. Okay, there's not, well, if you compare it to the others, hardly any information, right? If you go back to this one with too much information on one page, or this one with the information too small and the colors standing out more, this one with lots of busy things happening, um, you're right, this one, doesn't have any. Okay, nothing at all. All right, so, uh, okay. Now, how about this one? This is by Jane. Okay, it's just an example. Jane Doe, it's just a thing. How about this one? Okay, one to five. What do you like? What don't you like? Colors, yes, color and style. There are different things here, like uh, it looks like a stick here with barbecued vegetables on it and some other things. 
All right, universe. Now notice this is, um, it has dates here. Okay, from 2000, travel, education, accomplishments, employment, memberships, related knowledge. And this person has Photoshop behind them and computer design. Okay. Um, any other thoughts? I think that there's too much overlap. The colors and the images, I mean, the fish has travel on it. You know, having images right on is a bit problematic for me. I would give them maybe a two, a two for effort or something, but it's still not it. All right, so now you have an idea of what you're going to do, or do you? Okay, so how are you going to make your resume dynamic? Yeah, a mess, exactly. It does look like a mess. All right, I'm going to screen share and take you to a place where you can learn to create uh, dynamic resumes. Here's the link. It's on slide number seven. Okay, and let's take a look at that and see what we can learn from it. Okay, I'm going to be frozen for a second so I can get a drink here. Okay, I was frozen there for a while, but I was here. It's just that um, I had to initialize the Java. By the way, if you're using a PC, you can download um, the, De the WizIQ desktop. It's really, really good. I see that Diana has, and um, it'll be a lot better. WizIQ are making some uh, amazing changes that will be coming through... Um, actually next week dot com desktop but they don't have it for apple for the mac yet and i'm on a mac they will be having it for the mac all right so bear with me i'm going to take away my webcam and just keep my voice here and take you to this dynamic Okay, um, resume. Okay, it's a PDF file, and um, there it is. It's by the Henry Ford Community College, and it's just a PDF with PowerPoint presentations. They explain the purpose of a resume. It's a marketing tool used to convince an employer. Notice the word convince, to employ you or to get you uh, to an interview for a job. It should be brief and notice here brief. Some of you may have gotten the impression that it should be full of information but it should not. Being brief is very very important so yes it should be brief of stating your qualification experiences and to highlight your accomplishment. Notice here again, qualifications and experiences as well as accomplishments. Now some of us forget to add accomplishments, rewards and things that we feel that are an accomplishment. It could be skills, but it could also be part of our character and um, how we have changed for the better. All right. And, um, you want to sell yourself, and this is important. The best way to begin your resume, and they give you suggestions, and we've mentioned this, collect information, okay, and organize your thoughts on how you're going to share these. Okay, they include your work, your education, military, if you've done some military, and notice volunteer, 
Now this is really important. If you have volunteered, this is just like a job, you may add it. Even if you've done it in high school, it doesn't matter where and when, you can add your volunteer experiences as well. Okay, and the format at the beginning is not important. Now they also show you how to begin, okay, with your name and then job objective, what you want. It's a really good way to get started. You may copy and paste it on your blog if you're using a blog or on the Mahara if you're using a Mahara. I think that having a blog as your resume or about you as your e-portfolio is really, really important. Then they go through your education, your degrees, okay, military, volunteer, community involvement, memberships that you have, activities, and then your thoughts about your skills or your reflections, qualifications for the job that you're interested in or for jobs in general, if you don't have a specific job in mind your skills, and of course, a reminder that you are marketing yourself. You are the product. Okay, so let's go back to class. Uh, any questions about that? Okay, I'll stop the screen sharing. If everything has gone down to the bottom left, you can pop it up, but I think you should be able to write in the chat box now. Uh, the question was, what do you think? What do you think of... what you've just seen? Okay, any thoughts on the resume? The resume that you just saw. It's actually a template. Do you think you can follow it? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you think you can follow it. You can. Okay, that's great. Okay, if you go to the smiley, you'll get a thumbs up. All right, I'm going to share another one. Okay, one more with you. Okay, and then we'll go to the showcase, and Helena has uh, been working on hers. Okay, here's another one. This is from a university in um, Australia. By the way, universities offer this service to their students, which I think is really, really important. Uh, here is the, uh, the link. Okay, I'm glad you'll be able to use this. Okay, uh, there I am. I took myself off. Uh, you'll be able to use this, okay, because I think it's really, really useful. But when you get it from a university, it makes it uh, more serious. Lots of universities, if you go in, if you write down resume, dynamic resumes, you'll be able to find a lot online. But this is one that I think I find uh, very, very useful. Okay, the one from the university in Australia. So here it is. The reason it's uh, very useful is because you have everything here. You have sample resumes and you can download a sample and follow it. Okay, there's a generic resume. It's a PDF file. Okay, and this is a sample by uh, Michael Jones. Okay, and then there's a creative industry resume, an IT focused resume, human services, postgraduate resume, and international student resume. So these are specific to students. However, on the right you have other things where you can not only write resumes but you can also get a job. So this might interest some of you on how to uh, organize your resumes. So getting started, job applications, um, 
get your resume right cover letters and letter of appreciation samples of cover le cover letters is when you have a job when you're applying for a specific job they want you to write why this job is suitable for you uh, in addition to your resume and then create a job into uh, job seeking job interviews job seeking advice okay again this is from the University of Wallon Gong in Australia okay there are other information here as well okay and some do's and some don't okay quite suitable let me get the link for you if you missed it okay so there all right if you compare the two which one did you find more useful the one from the university or the other one okay so the first one or the second one which one did you find more useful and why what made one more useful for you the first one okay Andre why why the first one what made the first one uh, more effective for you okay the first one of course um, was also from a university it's based in uh, I'll tell you which university there's a lot of information there I shared the links with you so you can go through it it has a lot more information than I showed you a lot of cover letters for example so Andres is right um, and how to write letters which I think cover letters are really really important most people have problems writing cover letters because you can get a lot of resumes online, but it's um, less it is pretty good. Okay. Um, I think it's the University of HF. It's EDU, so um, I'm trying to find the uh, university. Doesn't seem to appear. It's called Henry Ford Community College. Sorry. Uh, so the Henry Ford Community College has a very powerful one. The second one is more professional. Okay. First one is must collect all the information and basic knowledge. Second one is best to see samples. Well, the first one has a lot of samples too. Okay. I uh, let me screen share again for those of you that may have not gone to it okay the sec the first one if you scroll down it talks about getting started but then it gives a lot of samples talks about references and then it gives you um, a template on how to write a resume there's a chronological resume format where you write your name your street address city and then objective okay so they give you a really really detailed example and then guidelines on the resume they really take you through it step by step and then they go through types of resumes and then you choose one there's a chronological a timeline combination resume objectives okay we haven't reached the end yet and then they have skills action verbs to use okay for um, okay lots of information skills administrative skills lots of words that you can use and then they have a resume checklist does your resume look like a professional document and organization content they give you a rubric as a checklist appearance and then preparing this is uh, the good part preparing your resume for the internet and posting it online okay and they give you information about that and preparing 
And then they give you examples. Okay, these are sample resumes. Okay, by Melissa Terrific. Okay, this is a resume. Okay, and you can go through that and see where you can fit yours in. And then there's another one by Richard R. Rich. Okay, um, okay, these are samples. And Jen James Grand, another kind of resume. They're all very different. And the references, they talk about references and how to add references. So it's quite professional all-important cover letter. Now this is the part that I really like because they give you the cover letters and how it's supposed to be laid out. Some cover letters need to be sent by snail mail and not through the internet and I think that's also something to consider. So uh, all right so now that you've seen both of them right through okay um, yeah, the first one guides you step by step. Okay, so are you ready? Okay, are you ready to write a full resume? Okay, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Okay, are you ready? In other words, have you collected all the information? Do you have everything ready to write it? All right, very good, Josefina. That's great. You have to investigate. All right, Lopez um, will give you time to. Uh, <laughs> inshallah. All right, this week, okay. The week's almost over, so uh, okay. All right, so creating a dynamic resume is your work for the week. You can use sample examples from uh, these two universities. One is the United States. Henry Ford Community College, and the other one is in Australia, the University of Wollongong. And you have a chance to use the Mahara. How many of you have tried to use the Mahara? If you could give me a thumbs up. Okay, we're talking about Mahara. No. All right, so uh, let me give you the link to the Mahara. You need to get an account, and please hurry up because I'm getting a lot of people trying to get in, and I won't let them. So write why. When you get an account on the Mahara, please write and let me know that it's you, that you're from the course, because if I don't have a reason, I don't let people, strange people, in to the Mahara. Okay, so just write down uh, that you took the that you're taking the course, or that you know Nelly or something, and that I know you're not a robot or someone who's trying to get in. Okay, so the Mahara is protected; no one can get in unless um, I approve, and I don't approve unless I know who they are. Okay, so there it is. That's the Mahara. Just to give you an idea, I think Helena, you were there. And uh, let's see who else. Anybody else try the Mahara yet? Hello, Roberta. Good to see you. I didn't notice when you came in. Okay, so let me uh, take you through. You have your own Mahara. That's great. So you don't need to use mine. You can use your own. That's wonderful. I think you mentioned that, but I, I wasn't um, aware. All right, so let's go into the Mahara. Mahara is a uh, was created by the government of New Zealand. It's a New Zealand word, and it means to reflect, to think. All right, so this is the Mahara. You need to um, register, but the register is going to disappear. I'm only keeping it open because of you, because. Um, I'm going to be adding people. I don't want anyone to drop by. And as I said, I don't approve of people that I don't know. Okay, so you click on register and you need to write your first name, last name, and then you have to write a reason why you want to register. 
if I don't like the reason or if I don't know you, I will not uh, approve. Okay, so make sure that you write a reason or you won't get in. Okay, once you do that, you can log in. Okay, and uh, let me... And if you lose your password, okay, uh, please go into the lost password and you should be able to get it back. Very easy to do if you lose your password. You just write your uh, email address or your username. Okay, in my case, it's uh, my username. Okay, and then you send uh, request. Okay, you should receive, you go into your email. My email is not on, but let me go into my Gmail so you'll see how it goes. You go into your Gmail. Okay, here's my uh, mail. Let me go into it. And then there it is, username, password, details. You click on it. Okay, there it's me. If you wish to reset your password, please go here. So you know the system works. I just proved it to you. All right. And then you add a new password. Okay, I'm going to add a new password. I believe you cannot do the same one that you had done before. Let me do it. I hope I did okay and there I'm in okay that's how it's done very easy notice I'm an administrator so um, let me go in to uh, the portfolio okay notice every section has something else if I go to the dashboard on the left Okay, I won't get very much, but if I go into content, I will get the following. I will get profile, first of all, my profile, this is the page, and then profile pictures, you can add your photos here, okay, I have a few of them, and then files under, this is under content, and then you have a, your journals, that means what you have written, or the journals that you belong to and then your resume this is where you add your resume and then you can have a cover letter notice under resume you have introduction education it's all set up for you education and employment achievements goals it's all set up skills and interests so you don't need a template, it's all here. Okay, so this is under resume. Okay, and then if you go to plans, this is something else, you can go into your plans and you can also, excuse me, write notes if you like, okay? But your resume is where you should focus. Okay, so focus there. I see Andres is here. You're online. Excellent. All right. That's very good. Okay. So that's uh, the Mahara. Let me go back to class. Stop screen sharing. And there you go. Okay. So that's the Mahara. If you're interested in adding your resume. All right. So let's take a look. Helena, are you still here? I believe Helena may have gone. It could be late in her area. But Helena... Yes, you need to register and make sure that you write a reason. Okay, um, I think Helena left her. There it is. Okay, that's Helena's. Um, okay, that's her uh, blog. She created a blog. It's called Helena's Learning, Teaching, and Much More. And it's her e portfolio. She writes, uh, I'm a teacher. Okay, you may want to use a blog. Remember, we talked about this uh, in the previous sessions that you're invited to use a blog. Okay, and notice she's got okay her uh, 
it's a blog spot, which means that it's a Google blog so that she can add everything from Google, including her uh, bio. And she also created a video I see here with music, okay, that she likes. And this is really important. I think that starting off on a blog is a great way to go about uh, doing your e-portfolio okay so there's Helena's blog you can uh, go into that and see how she's progressing how many of you have created blogs if you can add that in the chat box have you created a blog oh hello Fatima good to see you okay you have Josefina that's great because a blog is a good place to uh, collect information about you okay and you can work on it as you go and once you do that you can create your resume based on the information that's there and it's a lot of fun it's fun to keep a blog you can make it private or you can make it public you can use Google blogs you can use WordPress and there's so many others this tumblr uh, these days and others that are really really dynamic so just check out blogs go into uh, Google and check out blogs are there any questions so far who read nobody reads it it's completely private unless you make some of the things private nobody reads it no one can go into your account it's completely private and that's why I don't let people register. Even if they register, they can't see it. Okay, you have the option of making it private or pr public, and you can always download it from the Mahara into your computer system once you have it set up. Well, you can use it for an e-portfolio, Mizba, but you cannot use a blog for a professional resume companies schools and so on will ask for a written resume even Google Drive my bio I have to uh, turn it and I have a resume that I write on Google Drive but I have to upload it and share it what's good about Google Drive is that you can upload it as a PDF file or as a Word document but you still have to attach it okay they expect you to attach it so an e-portfolio is to collect okay it's a portfolio you collect everything online but you have to uh, make it or to turn it into a PDF or a Word document eventually and we'll be talking more about that right now you're gathering information but in the Mahara you can add it's completely safe and no one will see it exactly Mizba. they want it in an attached form they want you to attach it and the only way you can attach it is uh, by turning it into a PDF and you can do it on the Mahara the Mahara will allow you to uh, download what you have written in PDF or a Word document and so will Google okay so um, you might want to consider either or any other questions or comments that you'd like to make at this time I'm not sure I understand, Joseph. Shall we keep? Um, yes, keep working on your e-portfolio. Yes. Uh, let's see. When we go do work in Mahara, then we need to get it. Um, no you no 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 one can go into your account unless you make it public 
unless you make your resume public and then you can share the link of the Mahara, yes. But if you make keep it private, you will have to um, download it to your computer. Miss, but when you say you have a Mahara account, where do you have that you have your own Mahara? Sorry, where do you have your Mahara? At a university or school? Or do you have your own private Mahara? Oh, you have a private one. Okay. But you don't have to worry because Mahara is password protected and no one can get in there into your account. All right, so I'd like to thank you. And if you have any questions, feel free to use the course feed, uh, the course, uh, yes, course feed to ask your questions in the course. Uh, the course is called Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. The course is on WizIQ. I added the, uh, the link to the course in the chat box, but let me add it again to make sure that you're able to uh, ask questions. Okay, so feel free to use uh, the following link if you haven't joined. Everything is completely free. And thank you. Have a wonderful rest of the week and a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you in a couple of days, I believe. Okay, so thank you. Thank you, everyone. This will be uh, added to uh, the course course feed and uh, to the courseware as well as a YouTube video. Your names will not appear because I kept the uh, chat box out. So, oh, you missed Tom. Yes, I missed Tom too. But Tom, uh, we all had, we had three sessions today and it's been a long day. And Tom is now with the Second Life. He's very involved in um, in Second Life, even though he was against it. <laughs> but he's been drawn in along with some of the others. We're having a MOOC right now. You're all invited to join the MOOC. It's called uh, Second Life MOOC. And let me let me share the link with you, as uh, you may wish to join. Um, I'm also one of the organizers, so that's why I had to also. postpone some of the classes. There is the uh, Second Life MOOC. It's really interesting, uh, even though you might not believe in Second Life, but most people get hooked <laughs> because they find that it's very useful for teaching and for learning. You can learn so much in Second Life and it's very easy. Thank you. Thank you so much for your kind wishes, Ms. Bell. I also wish you the very, very best. Thank you, everyone. Bye for now.